Hi, good morning. My name is Brooke Michelle, and I am a special education teacher at Paint Branch High School in the Montgomery County Public School Systems. I have been moved today by the courage of young students. As a teacher, of course, that's what we teach. We teach students the tools and the confidence to stand up for issues that are near and dear to them as well as the greater community. That is our job, to build community. That is what a school does. I'm gonna share what happened to me. We've heard great testimony from parents, from students, but now I'm going to tell you what it's been like as a teacher having to work in an environment that has been anti-Semitic, not just anti-Israel, and the hardships that's come with it, including on my mental health. I volunteered very happily and eagerly to be the Muslim Student Association club sponsor at my school. My only goal, I wanted to bridge our two cultures to create a sense of community and create a strong stance against hatred in all forms. With them, I shared, I too know what it's like to be discriminated against for my religion and my culture. As a result of this, we worked well, the students were happy, and everything was great. Then October 7th happened. And then our student walkout happened. In November, our students, some in the MSA and some school-wide, they did a walkout in support of Palestine. As a public school teacher, I support our student in the right to exercise free speech. We are a public school, and we are there for our students. However, unfortunately, some students in the crowd shouted comments like, bring back Hitler and kill all the Jews. I reported these to my principal as they violated our hate and bias, our hate and bias speech policy. I asked her also, just please send out a small note saying, we, Paint Branch at MCPS, do not condone any forms of speech hatred. And there is no tolerance for it in our schools. My request was denied, saying that there were not enough people in our school who were essentially offended by it to warrant an email. I just grid my teeth and bore it because I am just a teacher. It escalated very quickly. I was then accused, written up as a punishment when word came out that there was an article created by a reporter and I was accused of sharing personal information about my students, my school, my administrators to this reporter. That was false. I didn't know such thing. And the worst part was my administrators and my school leadership knew that I didn't, but still punished me anyway. I became a scapegoat. It was too perfect to have a Jewish teacher in charge of an MSA club. I just became their scapegoat. As a result, I became ostracized in my school, not only because I, it appeared that I had broken the trust of my students, their parents, and my colleagues. I was alone. I had no help in my school. This took, a great, this took a great toll on my mental health. Suddenly, as a teacher, I was taking days off, and my performance really suffered because of the strain. I was harassed at school. I walking into the building would be pointed and ridiculed at by teachers, by students, by their parents. I had become a countywide known, apparently a, a bigot, all because I just simply reported hate speech that our school and our county does not condone. I was so shocked. I was so surprised. I had nothing to do with anything shared in the article, but no one believed me.
no one. We have come to a time where there is so much anti-Semitism. Our students don't feel safe in schools and neither do the teachers. 